day 13 of the 30 day transformation challenge, which means it's time for a new workout. For this next workout, you are going to perform four different exercises for three sets of 12 to 15 repetitions using approximately 65 to 70% of your 1RM. For each repetition, you will follow a 3-0-2-0 tempo, which means you will be lowering the weight eccentrically for three seconds and lifting the weight concentrically for two seconds without resting at the top or at the bottom of each repetition. To be exact with your tempo, keep using your metronome app and set it to 60 beats per minute. In between each set, you are going to rest for 60 seconds before beginning the next set. If you are unable to complete 12 repetitions using correct form, the weight is too heavy and you need to lower the weight. If you are able to complete more than 15 repetitions using correct form, the weight is too light and you need to increase the weight. Even if you are struggling, if you can perform 15 repetitions with correct form, you need to increase the weight for maximum results. The four exercises you will be performing are the heels elevated dumbbell goblet squat, split stance horizontal cable press, split stance horizontal cable row, and split stance low to high cable wood chop. If performed correctly, this next workout should take exactly 37 minutes and 15 seconds. Here's how to perform the exercises. This is how to perform the heels elevated dumbbell goblet squat. We are going to start by placing our heels on an incline board. If you don't have an incline board, you could either use a weight plate or a book. We are going to maintain a tall neutral spine, tuck the pelvis underneath us, tuck in the chin and axial extension. We are going to grasp a dumbbell, hold it up to our chest. We are going to initiate by activating the TBA by drawing the belly button towards the spine. And we are going to inhale as we lower for three seconds, touching the elbows to the knees. And then exhale as we come up for two seconds. So inhale. One, two, three, exhale, two, inhale, two, three, exhale, two. And that is how you perform the heels elevated dumbbell goblet squat. This is how to perform the split stance horizontal cable push. We are going to start by getting into a split stance position. The leg that is back is the side of the arm that we are going to be using for this exercise. We are going to make sure that the cable attachment is at our shoulder height. We are going to start by activating the TBA by drawing the belly button towards the spine, maintaining a tall neutral spine by tucking the pelvis underneath us, tucking in the chin, and giving some axial extension. We are going to grab hold of the cable, and we are going to exhale as we push for two seconds, and inhale as we release for three seconds. So take a deep breath in, and exhale. One, two, inhale, two, Three, exhale, two, inhale, two, three. And that's how you perform the split stance horizontal cable push. This is how to perform the horizontal split stance cable pull. For this exercise, we are going to get started in a split stance position. We are going to make sure that the cable is at our shoulder height. We are going to maintain a tall neutral spine by tucking the pelvis underneath us, keeping our chin tucked in, and maintaining axial extension and we are going to initiate by activating the TBA by drawing the belly button towards the spine. We are going to grab the handle on the same side arm as the leg goes back. Opposite arm is going to be in extension, and we are going to inhale, and then exhale as we pull for two seconds, and inhale as we release for three seconds. Exhale, one, two, inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, inhale, two, and that is how we perform the split stance horizontal cable pull. This is how to perform the split stance low to high cable wood chop. For this exercise, we are going to start in a split stance position with the back leg on the side closest to the side that we are going to be grasping the cable. We are going to maintain a tall neutral spine by tucking the pelvis underneath us, keeping the chin tucked in, and maintaining axial extension. We are going to activate the TBA by drawing the belly button towards the spine. And the side that we are going to be twisting towards is the hand that we are going to use to grab the cable first. Once we have the cable, the opposite hand is going to grasp over top. We are going to exhale as we raise diagonally for two seconds. And we are going to inhale as we release for three seconds. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. One, two, inhale, two, three. Exhale. Two, inhale, two, three. That is how you perform the split stance low to high cable wood chop. <laughs>